says, uh, you know, well, I'm going to insist that you up your minimum rate to $10 an hour. Minimum wage then was seven and a quarter, and I had a few people on the show that were making seven and a quarter. Most people who had any experience wouldn't agree to it. The average rate I was paying was closer to 15 or $16 an hour. The IA rates were like 20 to $30 an hour. So he didn't have a problem with anything so long as he could get $50,000 paid into a trust, and I could already start to smell it. I'm trying to do the good thing. This money's never going to make it back to these people because none of these people, more than half the people aren't in the union. They're never going to really get in the union. They're going to keep all the money. The whole thing's a sham. But I'm thinking, you know, I'm making a picture for Fox, and if I can show him that on a $2 million picture, I get an IA seal, that's worth something to me. I mean, if I'm paying out of my own fee, that's worth something to me. And I am paying out of my own fee because Steve Ransohoff required that I deliver the picture to Fox before I be paid my fee. So I'm in for all the overages or I'm not getting paid anything. So I finally acquiesce to that and then we're at the closing and then he adds one more thing to the deal. And that's the reason why I'm talking about it today because I want everybody to hear the nonsense that I'm dealing with with these people. Scott Harbinson says to me, well, the IA will never actually agree to $10 an hour. I said, what are you telling me we have no deal? No, 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 we have a deal. He said, I don't understand what you're saying. He says, I'm telling you that this isn't a precedent. This didn't ever really happen, and we're going to put that in the agreement. I said, so we're just going to fairy tale, make stuff up, and say, we're doing this, but but we're not really doing this. And so we're all going to agree to say we're not really doing this. He says, yes. I said, I'll pay you everything, and I'll agree to everything, but I'm not going to sign anything that isn't true. So we then went forth on the deal unsigned. They took my check for $50,000. They put it in the health, welfare, and pension account. They kept the money. They never put it in the client's uh, accounts. They never credited it to them. It's a total sham. It's against the law. I think people should go to jail over this. But it is what it is.